Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Today we're gonna be doing an interesting pick a card reading. Not because I had planned for this, because trust me, I have a lot of things that I'm supposed to be doing today. But I woke up this morning, my sensitivities were so high. I mean, as soon as I woke up this morning, I had all of these messages, like this one major message, and for some reason, I can't remember what it was, but it was so profound, and it is what it is. It is what it is, I'm sure it'll come back to me. I guess there's more that needs to come out, there's more that needs to be shared, so I wanna do a pick a card of sorts. Now, because I did not plan for this, I did not set intention to do this for you guys, I'm just kind of respecting what I feel Spirit is saying to myself right now. I'm just gonna use what's around me, and at this point, it's a rose tree, it's a lily plant, and I have a sage bush. So I want you guys to kind of connect with that if you can. There's gonna be three different sections and cards that it is that I'll pull for you and see what comes through and how it makes you feel. If you gravitate towards the rose bush, then you'll be group number one. If you gravitate towards the lily plant, then you'll be group number two. And if you gravitate towards sage, then you'll be group number three. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is to just take some time to center myself because I, I just need it. For my roses, what is it that they need to hear? Angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I ask that you be present in this moment and you speak to me through the cards and through my spirit as far as what my group number ones need to hear. Let me go ahead and shuffle for you guys. I'm just gonna pick off the top of the pile because we're working with minimal time. Okay, the first cards that came through are Aura Cleanse and Meditate. Oh my God, oh my God. You know what I feel? Oh, I feel, I feel like this is in my heart and in my sacral chakra. Oh God, it's like, with those for my roses, it's like if you set intention, if you work your magic, if you set a prayer and the universe answers, but it's not what it was that you were expecting. Or if it is, it's not the way that you would have expected it to unfold. And God, it's like almost the disappointment of it. That's what it is that I'm feeling right now. I don't know if that's something that is that you're feeling or maybe there's someone around you that's been feeling that, but that's what it is that I'm getting. Or maybe it's like defeat, maybe it's frustration. I don't. I can't honestly tell where it is that that's coming from because again, these readings are for a general audience, but the feeling that I feel in the, in this, the pit of my stomach, it's like fear, it's disappointment, it's that feeling of low, that lowness. But the thing is, is that I don't see this as happening for no reason. And I know that you guys hear me say that a lot because I truly believe that. I don't think that anything happens for no reason. I just see you splitting apart. I see you separating. And obviously that's what it is that we're seeing here with the coming apart card and the wishing well. The thing is that I see with that is that I did a reading for someone recently, a, f a friend actually, and they were kind of going through the same thing that it is that I'm seeing for my roses. Um, it's almost like you have this expectation again of what it is that you want things to be, but then when it doesn't fall together in exactly the way, or you are seeing aspects of yourself that you are splitting yourself away from, meaning like you are examining your, or seeing yourself in a new light or learning to examine yourself in a new light, and that light comes from a space of learning to trust and to have self-love and to, to step into your self-worth. And when you have things that are separate from you, that are taken from you, that the universe takes it from you, it strips it from you. It's literally like, I'm seeing like Velcro. And I'm seeing Velcro because you're so tight to it, you're so caught to it, you're so stuck on it. And if you had your way, you would have kept it with you forever. It would have been yours, this identity, this person, this thing, this job, and the universe is splitting it in that, that rip. That's what it is that you're going through right now. But please, please trust that literally, if you prayed over this, if you set intention for this, if you worked your magic, and even if you didn't, please know that this splitation, this separation is there for your highest protection. And it is there because the universe wants you to see yourself in a new light and it's not possible for you to see yourself 
in this new light if you stay in the status quo if you hold on to this thing and we understand so much I like it's like angels being like we understand so much how badly you wanted to hold on to this but please trust if you only knew what we were going to then connect you to you would not hold on to this any longer and we love the fact that you believed in it we love the fact that you love it we love the fact that you had this expectation and this hope for it but please trust like really honestly please trust and that's the cards that are coming through it's this eight of wands so maybe it's a message that's about to come through this four of pentacles which shows this um i'm not moving i'm here this is my status quo this is what i'm used to this is what i'm accustomed to but this is lack there's so much more. Five of Pentacles is the card of lack. It's the card of being without. It's the card of homelessness. It's the card of you deserve more, that there's more out there for you. Times this by two, times the Five of Pentacles by two and you get 10 of Pentacles and that is abundance. It's not only abundance for now, it's abundance for the future and all that's to come. But you wouldn't be able to see that because you might be stuck in lack mentality. If you only knew what it was that you were separating yourself from, you would never, you would never question, you would, you would never ask or fight the universe. You would actually be like, take it, <laughs> take it. In fact, that's what it is that I'm seeing too with the sacral chakra is that that's where your excitement comes from and your thrill and your your love and your abundance. It comes from the sacral, sacral chakra. Well, it comes from root chakra, but more than anything right now. And that's what I'm seeing too is this aura cleanse and this meditate this space of meditation. If you took some time out to cleanse your aura of anything, just like how I knocked the petals off of it. See how this rose? Let me show you guys. See how this rose has these petals that are dried? It's because it served its purpose. And now these dried petals are probably gonna go into my bath water. They're gonna go into my earth magic. But do you see how this rose right here, my roses, it's budding. Oh, you can't see because of light. Oh, see, there's, a, there's all these little crispy babies. You wanna know why? Because all of these roses already bloomed and their time has come, their time has served, but now it's time for them to, you know, give back and to move their energy in a different way. And that's what it is that I'm seeing. So whatever it is that you need to cleanse yourself of and from is exactly what it is that you need to do. And when you're doing that, just meditate, meditate. And I'm also seeing this wish card. Sorry guys, my um, my phone has been acting kind of weird lately and my storage has been full, but the message that I was saying when I got so rudely interrupted, I'm just kidding, but the message that is that I got is that I know it's sometimes that's hard to trust when you are being separated from something that you're so comfortable with or something that you were comfortable with the expectation and the hope that, okay, this is it, this is it for me. And you now have to step into a space where you are trusting that the universe has something better for you. And I know we hear it time and time and time again, but guess what happens? Every time we hear it, it does end up happening that when you let go and you remove yourself from this thing that you kind of caught yourself on and that you believed, okay, this is it, there's nothing else out there for me. And then you actually step out into into um, trust and you you cleanse yourself of you know what the expectation that's when you receive that blessing and that's why I'm seeing this wish wish wishing well card because I think that not even I think I know that when you trust and when you allow yourself to be redirected into a new environment and redirected into something better ten of ten of Pentacles not five of Pentacles okay remember that's the card that it is that, that it is that you pulled we really like to work with numerology number five is the card of change and transformation if it wasn't for this we wouldn't have the ten we wouldn't have stability we wouldn't have fulfillment and that's what the universe sees for you it doesn't want lack the universe doesn't understand lack mentality the only person that understands lack mentality is you because you might have become accustomed to it so I really want to see you guys cleanse yourself do a charge soak do a charge energy soak do it under the light of the full moon there's one coming from the time of me making this video or the time of the new moon if you're watching this on an, another you know these these types of videos are timeless but while you're doing that really meditate do you see what stands out to me is that infinite sign that infinity sign at the top that's you connecting back to universal source and that's that that infinite that abundance anything that is let go of it transforms into the new anything that you release it manifests into something else when you say goodbye to something you're really not saying goodbye to it because you're gonna say hello hello to it in another form a better form so even if it's something like you know someone died or something that is being released in your life 
you know, as human beings, our lack mentality says, okay, this is where the road ends. I'm never going to see you again. That's it. That's lack mentality. But spirit knows that, okay, even in, in an extreme form of releasing, when you say goodbye to someone, whether they die, whether it's broken, like a broken relationship, you're not saying goodbye to them because their energy, their spirit is going to be in the infinite realm of the, of spirit, which has no bounds. It has no limits. And that's what I'm seeing for you guys is to, when you go to your meditation, connect with that infinite sign that nothing is released without coming in some new form. You're never saying goodbye. You're just saying, okay, you know, that's your old form and this is our new form. This is what it is that we're walking into and I can't wait to see how this is gonna manifest. I can't wait to reintroduce myself to you again. I can't wait to see you again in something that is better for both of us. So. That's what it is that I'm seeing. And if you guys need energy soaks or anything like that, you guys know that I do have those things available for you in my shop. And you're my rose. You're my rose. And the rose is connected to love and attraction and beauty and abundance. And the universe has that for you. We don't want five of pentacles. We want ten of pentacles. Times that energy by two. Okay? Times it by two. In order to do that, you have to allow change to happen. You have to allow change to occur. And then you also have to allow union to come. So don't Velcro strap yourself to something that, you know, isn't going to serve you in the, long, in the long haul. Trust. Okay. For my number twos, let me just go ahead and take a moment to meditate again because I need it. Oh, we have the lily because I just saw a picture of the lily. Okay, the first thing that I'm even that I'm getting with that is like a spit. Uh, of course, of course, because lily is connected to purity and sensuality, but pure innocence, pure innocent sensuality. What is it that I love? What is it that I want? How do I see myself? What is my self worth? What is my self value? I want to be the purest version of myself. God, let me be the purest version of myself. Let let me be unadulterated let me be unfiltered i want to be me that's what i'm getting with the lily it's so pure it's so innocent intentions are pure intentions are innocent what is that we're seeing let me go ahead and shuffle the cards for that that's what i get with the visualization of the, the lily angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe i ask they be present with us now what is it that my number twos need to hear the lilies Ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I love you guys. Okay, so for you, we have take your time. Oh! If I don't need to hear this, <laughs> I probably would have probably I probably would have picked a lily. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, take your time. Call on your healer guides or your healer messages. And maybe that and the other thing too is that as I'm even saying that, I'm like, you called? I answered. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Take your time and call on your healer guides. So there's some healing that needs to happen, which makes a lot of sense because that's what, okay. Oh, wow. I didn't see this one. Be generous. We'll talk about that in a minute. Then we have Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups. Wheel of Fortune, mm -hmm. Five of Swords, The Sacred Pool, Follow the Leader, and Intention. So the thing that it is that I'm getting with this instantly again is that space of being innocent. Aww, this, okay, this I get Heart, Sacral, Throat, and also Third Eye, Crown Chakra. I'm getting definitely a lot of healing um, healing energy. You know what it is? This is a person that's been got guarded. This is a person who has been walled up. This is a person who is understanding what makes them safe and what makes them secure and finding peace within themselves and around themselves. You can't save everybody. The, your, your, your path and your messages and your transformation, your awakening, it's not to be shared with everyone because not everybody's going to understand it. This is for you. And in order for you to, to be in a space where you allow yourself to go through this growth and this transformation, you have to actually separate yourself from others to do this. 
And then when you separate yourself from others, you need to give yourself abundant time and space and energy to grow, to reach, to strive, to bloom. It's not something that's rushed. Oh, obviously this makes sense. It's not something that's rushed. It's not something that is forced. It's effortless. This new space that you're going into, and I'm getting a lot of Reiki work in, our, in my hands, like the energy of hands, like my hands are vibrating. So maybe you might be doing Reiki, maybe you might be touching people, you know, I mean, <laughs> not in like a negative way or anything like that. Hold on, let me check on the incense. All right, the incense is good. Um, not in a way that's, you know, inappropriate or weird or anything like that, but be very careful about who and what you're sharing your energy with and who you're touching and who you allow to touch you and in ways that is like physical, but also mental, emotional, spiritual. This isn't just relationships, this is family, this is friends. Who's around you? What does their energy bring? There's a natural need within you to be generous with others, but I'm also seeing a need for boundaries because not everybody has good intentions and sometimes it's not that their intentions aren't good, it's just they're not on the same level. And in order for you to be, to bloom into this space that is pure and innocent, you have to separate yourself from the things that are tainted or the things that have been you know, guarded or abused or they've learned to be a certain way, they've become accustomed to a certain way, but you can't thrive in that environment anymore. This is new. And I think that that's why you have to really connect with your angels and your guides and your healer, this healing energy, because you I don't see you being alone, but I don't see you being connected to what it is that you're walking out of. This is, oh, timing is everything. Wheel of Fortune is the card of time, divine timing, because of this cycle, that this wheel that keeps going. And this is take your time and trust. When I see this sacred pool, this card of the sacred pool, I see a person who is going to the river, going to a, um, a healing, healing spring and baptizing themselves and purging themselves, releasing themselves, forgiving themselves and rising up out of this space, blooming, blossoming, uh, fertile, growing. You can't bring in with you. I mean, you can, you could choose to, but I highly, I highly want to encourage you not to. We're in a world right now where so much is guarded, so much is sharp. The edges that we're walking in are so sharp. But you don't need to be there anymore. You need to be in a space where it's a garden, where you feel safe and protected, and it's something that's sacred. It's like a, a literal, like a garden space. You're creating that. Set the intention for that. And when I see follow the leader, I'm seeing, I don't see you following someone unless it's like a spirit, spiritual guide or a healer or someone who is gentle in their nature. Follow them. But also follow spirit. What is spirit, what is spirit trying to tell you? What are your ancestors trying to tell you? If they're asking you to trust, if they're asking you to be soft, then be soft. Trust. Set intention for that. If you don't have that, set intention for that. There's so much innocence around you right now. There's so much goodness. There's so much healing. There's a space for healing. But you can't do that. You can't go into a healing space with your blades, with your sharp objects, you know? At some point, you have to let those things go. And if there's people around you, you have to release them. You have to separate yourself from that because their intention is not good. And again, it, maybe they don't know any better. That's all they know is to be guarded. That's all they know is to be rough. That's all they know is to be defensive. But that's not your reality anymore. So that's what I see for you. And number twos. Whew, okay, what do we have for number three? My sage group. Did you guys see the sage yet? Let me show you. Oh, it's right here. I was like, where is my sage? Right here, here I am. So this little baby actually needs to be repotted. I have two. But look how much he's growing. Look how much he's thriving. Could you, can you sniff that? Just imagine what that smells like. I wish we had scratch and sniff on YouTube. I would share this with you. It kind of smells like armpits. <laughs> can I be honest with you guys? It smells like armpits smells like fresh sage, which to me sometimes kind of smells like armpits. 
Anyways, um, okay, what does my sage group need to hear? Uh, duh, protection. Boundaries. Ooh. Ooh, I just got a visual of someone legit closing the door. And it's funny because they're like, bye. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> and people are like, what? What just happened? No. Bye. Next question. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Be unapologetic. Be unapologetic. Ooh. Okay, let me go ahead and shuffle the cards for you. That's so funny. Who are you closing the door on? <laughs> Bye. You don't have to be rude with it, but okay, okay. Okay. This is what I have for you. Ooh. Oh. See? Claim your boundaries. Everybody wants a piece of you. Oh God, stay in your own skin. Then I have King of Wands. I have Three of Pentacles. Oh, yes. Yes. Three of Pentacles. Oh my God. Page of Wands. I receive. Wherever you are, snap your fingers. Go ahead. And this is going to be your thing. This is gonna be your thing because when you're moving forward, there you, you snap your fingers and that's gonna be you being like, nope. Snapping your fingers means no. That's you breaking the energy up. I don't know why that's what I'm getting. That's you breaking the energy up. That's you creating the boundary. There are so many people that want a piece of what it is that you have. You have to realize how precious your time, your resources, your energy, your love, your attention, your focus. If they only knew, and they do know, that's why people want to get their hands on you. But not everybody has access. Not everybody can have access to you. No. I see this in work. I see this in relationships. I, just every Everywhere. If you're in your work environment and people are like, can you do this for me? No. <laughs> no. I, that's why I think I'm seeing you guys, I had the visual of you guys closing the door because it's not that you're doing it out of rudeness. It's because you have a lot that needs to be valued. You have so much. You are the treasure. When I see the three of pentacles and when I see this, this is a, a person that needs to be protected because they have so much they have the treasures within them and people want a piece of that but it's up to you to know okay this is what I want this is what I see this is what I will give to this is what I will invest in but if I even allow you to if I even allow you to um, if I even invest in you, you also have, or if I allow you to invest in me I also have to invest in you which means that whatever it is that we're building here needs to be ready, it needs to be prepared, it needs to be of, sub of substance. Do not enter into a relationship of any kind with anybody who is bringing less than what it is that you deserve. Some people are not ready for what it is that you deserve and that's why the potential is there, but we're not working with just potential, we're working with facts. What have you done? What have you shown me? What can we see on paper? That's what it is I wanna see. Only until then, that's when I will sign, sign the contract. Until then, the answer is no. No, I don't even need to explain it to you because you, all ready? No. The answer is no. Ugh, I can't. There is a lot of energy that is that you bring. I, I feel it. I feel it. In fact, my other groups, my rose group and my lily group, they had all this energy. Well, they had the energy within their sacral and their root and their heart and all this other stuff. And that was good. But with you guys, it's this surge. It's electricity. It's this new, won't, won't, won't. It's this energy that's like, you know, going up and down and going up and down because it's like this little conveyor belt. You're like this little lightning rod. Everybody wants a piece of you. But you have to say no. And you saying no doesn't mean that you're, you know, blocking out the blessing, you don't have to say yes to everybody. You saying no to right now just means that they have to fucking wait, pardon my French, they have to wait. Get in line, get ready. Don't come to me if you're not ready. Don't come to me if you're, at, if you're not at 100%. I'm at 110, where are you? If you're coming forward with 40% energy, 30% energy, you have nothing to give to me. Trust me, you have nothing to give me. Give to me, no offense. But. Can we be real? You guys need to be real. You need to protect yourself. That's why it's like, and it's not like a negative thing. 
It's claiming your boundaries. Do you see all this energy? I can't ignore all these arrows that are coming towards you because people might be like, yo, Jess, are you available for readings? Oh, Jess, are you available for the shop? Oh, Jess, when's your next shop update? Oh, Jess, whenever you do an astro live chat? Oh, Jess, when's your book available? Oh, Jess, can you make a video on this? All of that is all well and good, but at the end of the day, I have to stay in my own skin. I'm the one who's making, calling the shots. I'm the one who's producing. I'm the one who has the value. I'm the one who has the diamonds. I'm the one who has the worth. I'm authentic. I'm this, I'm that. So it's like, knowing all of that, am I grateful for the opportunity? Am I grateful for it? Yes, but, when I step into my own skin and, my, and I know my own worth, then I know that I call the shots and I will give when I'm ready to give. I will give what I'm, I'm wanting to give. I will give how I wanna give it. And I don't have to make promises. I don't have to explain myself. I don't have to make an excuse. If I make a mistake, I will fix it. If I want this thing to grow, I will grow it. I will tend to it. If I need a break, I will take that break. And the same is true for you. Know your boundaries. You don't have to be rude. I'm never rude. I'm never a rude person. You guys know that about me, but I'm also a strong person. And I know what I can and I cannot, will not do. The next cards that I'm seeing for you are balancing act. I'm just pulling them off the top. Storm fields, moonlight, and encouragement. This is, I, with this card, it's just like, you just needed a little encouragement in order to remember this. It's okay. It's okay. My, my girls, my gals, my guys, my dudes, we all need encouragement sometimes. We all need a little bit of a, Jess, can you remind me? Of course I can, baby. That's why I'm here. Of course I can rem remind you of your worth, of your value. That's why I'm here. Come give me a hug. <laughs> Come give me a hug. I do see this fantasy. I do see this, you know, bigger picture that it is that you have for yourself. And that's so amazing. That's so magnetic. And that's the thing, it's magnetic. So when you put your vision out there, when you have this dream and when you have this passion, people want a piece of it. It's like a little moth to a flame. Of course they want a piece of it because you're so valuable. That's why people want to be a part of you. That's why people, that's why you're attracting right now. And if you're not, if you're not attracting, then I question it. It smells so good out here. This got it, that's the, it's the combination of the sage, the roses, the lilies, the gardenias. I just had that just now. But there's a storm within you, or there's a storm around you, and it just, it's all about balancing. But the way to balance that, the way to work with that, is by establishing boundaries. And that's what I'm seeing with the King of Wands. For those of you guys who are like, well then, who's the King of Wands? Well, it could be a person in your life, but more than that, I see it as your energy. It's a charismatic person, it's a valuable person, it's a guy who's full of ideas. And even though it's coming across as masculine energy, or a, a man, it's not always a man. You know, it could be a man, it could be a woman. It's just how your energy's coming across now. Or maybe it is um, a person in your life, but either way, guess who calls the shots? You do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you're subscribed. Feel free to share this video with everyone else, your friends, your colleagues, your lover, your mom, your dad. I have so much I need to do, speaking of which. Um, sorry for the shit lighting, but also sorry not sorry because I had to do this video for you now and Spirit doesn't care about good lighting. Or if my eyebrows are on fleek or not. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!